Well, hey there, guys. It's me, Ashman4810. Uh, I'm on my computer here a little bit to uh, bring you. Um, uh, well, everybody's brought out one of these already. Uh, how to make a little thing I like to call a TNT cannon. So sorry if I sound a little bit stuffy. Sorry if I snuffle. But uh, that's just what comes with the season. Um, yeah, so here we go with uh, Minecraft TNT cannon. I will be showing you how to add on a few more stacks to it, seeing if you want to upgrade it a little bit. I have not figured out how to repeatedly or get a lot of TNT into it. So, let's get to it. And sorry if you hear anything else in the background. That would just be either my animals or the TV. Or something else. So, uh, I got my TNT cannon here. It is a Pretty basic off from uh, somebody uh, from uh, another YouTube's channel, YouTuber's channel, and uh, I made it. But this is just like the blast protection right here, so that I don't get blasted whenever I light it. In survival mode, if I do move to survival, I have five layers where TNT gets launched. I'm thinking about for the videos, edited reason reasons. That I will show you how to add another layer, um, but this is a pretty, pretty basic to me. TNT can it's my first one. Well, second one I ever made is uh, I had to add on this blast shield up to the front just in case. Although I haven't added it on where this gets protected too. Well, I should probably do that too quick. I just don't want this redstone to get blown away. Just to I had a little bit of a complication earlier with that, and I lost my original one. That's why I have down all this obsidian that's around it. Yeah, uh, that happens when I... I don't know what exactly happens. Uh, I got rid of my old one and built this new one, and it is better and stronger than it was before. So, what you basically do is, you know, you get your water, you get the button on the end if you want it right there you can put it up far away or whatever but I put it onto this and it works I will blow off the TNT just for this video and if it works out great it should go off and hit that obsidian wall over there or go right beneath it which it kind of went right beneath it but it also went into this water that I have right here this I had this up here to see where it would go off when I had four layers, but I added on a fifth one right before I took this video. Now, I'll be showing you how to make one of these. All you need is uh, whatever building block you want. I, I'm using obsidian just in case. Dispensers, redstone, and redstone repeaters. Now first, once you have this basic set out here, if you if you have like two, one or two or three, you can add, keep on adding, but I'm not sure if it'll actually help out. So what you want to do is you want to put uh, six or seven uh, dispensers down right in a row like this, and what you want to do is you see that I do not have that my thing was being kind of a uh, never mind, and you want to take your uh, building block and build onto the side. Now, oh, oh, I think it's being a little bit of a thing right here, so I am, uh, this may take me a little bit. Uh, oh, looks like I did not accept this one completely. So that was not a good idea there. Alright, so, so let's, and if this does work, it should provide a very frequent and awesome blast that we should be able to get. So what you want to do now is you want to figure out where you want to place the thing leading up. Uh, so I'm going to do it right here. This will be just kind of like a stairway step type thing that will lead up the redstone from the grounds to the top. Alright, 
So now I should try to get some redstone over to the path, and it shall work like this. And you'll want to try to put a redstone repeater into there just in case that the thing doesn't completely go right. Uh, you just want to make sure that it doesn't go back to haunt you, let's say. Now, uh, let me change this time so that it looks brighter. Alright, here. So we can take our redstone repeaters now and place them directly towards it on no ticks. And you want to place it directly up to the dispensers. And this should provide something of that. Now, you want to take the redstone and place it directly to those repeaters, and that is the basic setup. Now, if you want to give some more protection, I should uh, mention that you want to put some of your building block up on top. Uh, in this case, I'm using obsidian yet again, and this should help it from not blowing up. Now, if you have it set up from right, this should blow the TNT a little bit further, or give it a little bit more power. Right now I have six things, and this should give it a big blow off uh, into the right, into that direction over there. Now, if I'm wrong, it should blow this thing off, uh, getting rid of the dispensers, and create some sort of a disaster, which is what happened to my first one. Uh, I only had about four on there, and here we go. Let's test this out. And there it goes. Oh, I think I forgot to place TNT into the top. So, I think I shall. And then you're also going to need the TNT. I don't have enough, so I'm going to get more block of TNT. Oh, crap. And I'm going all over the place. So, so what you want to do is you want to take your TNT and place one stack into each dispenser. Excuse me there, guys. I know that I'm taking it the slow way, but I'll speed this up a little bit. Just to not use your time as much, uh, if you want to know uh, how to make a better one, go over to Seth Blank, or Seth Blank, or whatever his name is, or Ant Venom, or... Uh, if you want to find a better one, just type in uh, Minecraft how to make a redstone, or I mean uh, TNT cannon and they should and it should pop up with several and this should create a pretty big explosion or well it's big explosion plus launching that all the way over here which I do believe that it did if you want to just just see how much it does I think I'll just put up some red wool where the where I had it just to show you guys how big of an explosion it can be or how far it can shoot because it can shoot all the way over to here if you want it to Yeah. I'm just gonna set this thing up so that it has purple wool instead of diamond blocks, just so that I can. Just because I don't really want to search for the diamond block, plus it's temperamental. I really don't want to mess with it right now. So. Once we get this completely set up, we can launch off some TNT and see what it does to this wall. This is just like my test wall, I just built it to see how much it would actually work. But if it shoots a little bit less, that's fine. I'm going to shoot off two or three right off from the bat. So let's go here. This. So that's one. It should shoot. 
to three. Take a come on. Oh, there we go. All right. So, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention how to set up this. Once you have uh, all of your redstone and redstone stuff. This is the very complicated version over here. Um, I set this up so that it can repeat instantaneously and so that it works completely perfectly. So if once you get this over here, this is like over here is all for the TNT that launches the thing. Over here, this from on over here is so that this TNT is dispensed and then is so that that one is launched. Now if you want to let's say get it to launch at the right time you want to have four in a row and then put them at four ticks or three ticks or however you want them. So there's zero, one, two, three and that should work it works for me as of right now, but you may want to do maybe five if you want it to not blast at the time that it hits. But let's go see the damage that it did to the wall. So it did some damage, it hit in about the same spot every time, took away some of the diamond, and didn't really go much above here, which is kind of surprising, honestly. Uh, so yeah. That did some pretty significant damage. Now, if we were to take this cannon and set it up, it would probably take you about 30 minutes just to get the first, like, first three layers. So it would probably take you about 45 minutes to actually just put it up to six. I've been working on this thing for a while, but yeah. Uh, so you can see that this thing is pretty stacked. So yeah, <laughs> the TNT cannon is pretty spectacular. I have this on my challenges map, which is a significant map that has taken me a bunch of time to make. Ooh, I just got rid of some more of the wall. So, I will... The TNT cannon is pretty, pretty useful. If you want to build this, it is a time hauler. It can take you up to an hour to build if you try to build it up higher. But, yeah, so if you want to build another layer, it can take you a while to just build it out. It can't, if you build it enough, it can put you out a few blocks because it is a big mess. Big thing of mess. If you really, really want to build it high, you're going to need to, uh, you're gonna need to uh, build build it in creative or under. Uh, if you want to build it really high and make it so that it is just that significant, you want to build it in a flat and pretty much put it in a zero block. But uh, I pull. I am not sure what the creative thing is at. So, but that is my TNT cannon. I have a bunch of other things out of my challenges map since the last time that I made it. Um, but yeah. I think I'll be going through some of the challenges. Yeah, but I may make this a challenge eventually. I just built it onto this thing because it seems right and I, it was the only map I had up. It's my most advanced map this so far. So, here we go guys. And that was my TNT cannon. Let's shoot it off one more time and see what we can do. Oh, and also you must have these at four if you want these to launch. Uh, if you want one side to go more than, faster than the other uh, for as far as the these falling, you must uh, put one of these repeaters at uh, one less tick than one of the other than the other side. So let's do that. See how much faster the, other, the one side is than the other. It's not that much 
but it is it does help so let's see where I went didn't really do anything else because the water's probably right there oh uh, maybe it did a little bit more so yep that is my TNT cannon and this is on my challenges map and I will most likely make this a challenge where the person will have to shoot off one TNT and see where it lands. But yep, so this is my TNT cannon. Uh, this is Ash140 Utana saying peace and thank you for watching.